female genital mutilation or FGM has not been proven to have any benefit on the woman's or girl's life. Unfortunately, many women across the country are suffering because of this cut. Agnes, a resident of Naro County, explains to us what she went through during the cut as well as why she decided to start a rescue center at Narok for young girls who are running away from FGM. Karibu hapa kwetu tasaru, hii ni bomo ya wasijana ambayo tunawapea makao wale ambayo wanatoroka tohara na wale ambayo wanatoroka endoa sa mapema. Kwa hivyo ningependa kukaribisha, karibu. So hapa ni yote vizatu kwa mara? Hapa, hapa tuko tuko area ya town na hii bomo inaitwa tasaru. Wasijana huwa wanatorokea hapa ambayo e, wanatoroka tohara na pia ndoa ya mapema. Tumekuja kugundua tena tena kwa jamii kumekuwa mashida mingi. Sasa hata ukiingia hapa utakuta kuna watoto wadogo. Na hawa watoto e, wanaletwa kutoka kwa ofisi ya watoto. Kwa sababu Naro County. Kwa hivyo sasa sisi tunafanya kasi hapa kwa Naro County kwa jamii ambayo ni ya Wamasai kwa sababu bado hawa watu wanashikilia mila sao. Na mila moja ni tohara ya wasichana. Sasa hapa tunapambana na tohara na hii ni senda. Unaona kama pale sasa utaona pale ile nyumba ambayo wanakaa. Hiyo ndiyo domu yao, hostel yao. Pale utaona darasa. Tuko na darasa kwa sababu hiko saa tuna rescue watoto ambayo wajaenda chule. Na tuna, tuna haya mwalimu, a qualified teacher anakuja kuwafundi how to read and write and then from there on tunaweza kupeleka huyo mtoto wa primary school na atakop tu ni wengi wamekop na wale wengine na ni wengi hata wamefanya mtihani na wakapita kwa hivyo sasa ile area tena ni dining hall okay. there is a kitchen there these girls cook for themselves wakati kama huu hawa wasichana wako shule wanasoma sasa wale unaona kama wale hivi hawa ni wale wapi wamekuja juzi their cases are still either in court au sa ingine badu wanatafuta wa sasi wao. Na sasa mungine mdogo kama yule unaona nasimama hapo. Iyo sasa ni maajabu kwa sabu wika toto ni kesi ya defilement. Hamekua defiled as young as she is. Hata haelewi ya nasema tuna umo na tumbo hajui ni nini lifanyika. Lakini kesi yake hiko kutini haka katoto kakaleto hapa kakawa defiled hapa for three months hii kesi yake ikiendelea. Kwa hivyo sasa unakuta kwamba ile nia tulianza naye ya tohara inaanza kubadilika kulingana na mashida yale ya kondani ya jamii. Ya. Ehe. 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 Sasa zile ni classes. Hapa sasa ni dom. Hii dom unaona tunaita vide. Na tunaita vide kwa sababu kikundi cha vide ya kutoka Amerikani ndiyo walikuja kututembelea na wakatupa fedha tukaweza kujenga in our violence yes yes standing against violence na ndiyo wanajiita vide sasa hapo tukaita kwa itanisha hii chumba kwa hiyo jina kwa sababu wao ndiyo walitupa fedha ya kufanya hivyo kwa hivyo sasa ndani ya hii chumba kunaweza comfortably kuwa na watoto arubaine na tisa. Na saa hizi kuna wangapi? Saa hii, hiko saa tunakuwa na wengi hata saa hini arubaine na tisa, lakini wako kwa mashule. Tuko na wasiana mbaka secondary schools, na tuko na watoto wa primary. Hata saa hii, tuko na watatu mbae hawako hapa saa hii, ndabda watakuja, wako kwa classes ya computer, wale mbae ni wetu mbae walimaliza form 4. Wanapo ngojea pale wanaenda, wanangojea university, lakini tunawapeleka kwa kompyuta. Na hapa kwa hii program yetu 
tunakuwa na reconciliation program mm. because kama sasa tukiwa 42 mm. we must create room for mm. other new yes. girls mm. sasa sasa hiyo tunaenda kwa wazazi mm. tunaongea na wao mm. and we are lucky because in our culture mm. that uh, element of reconciliation is there mm. kwa hivyo it's not we are not coming up with a new thing yeah. wa masai tu wasiana wangetoroka mm. wangetoroshwa wanarudi wanakuja wanaongea na baba yao wanakuwa accepted so these girls are normally accepted sasa kasi yetu ni kumonitor tu kuhakikisha wameenda shule yeah at a tender age of 14 agnes was forced to undergo fgm something that she despised ile shule nilikuwa primary school nilikuwa na rafiki yangu mmoja ambayo hakutaka kufanywa hajui tohara ni nini kwa hivyo alikuwa tu anakaa kiniuliza nini ni huwa anafanyika na hawa watoto wanakuja kama wamekatwa nywele sasa nilikuwa namuelezea kwamba kuna mila ambayo hawa watoto wanafanyiwa na ndio basi wananyolewa kumaanisha sasa wamekuwa watu wengine sasa alikuwa kila mara ananiambia nisikubali sasa nika keep hiyo promise ya huyo rafiki yangu Sasa kwa na nyumbani kujaribu kusema hapana baba yangu tu ndiye alini support lakini mama yangu akasema lazima Regardless of trying to fight against being cut Agnes went through it simply because of the sheer fact that she was referred to as a coward Kwa sababu ilikuwa inafanywa against my will sasa nilikuwa nafuata process yote na sikuona maana yake na ndio maana mimi nikasikia lazima nianze kitu kama hii Mimi hata sikujua kwamba my community itanichukia ita lakini the word sasa kwa age group yangu age mates watakuwa na wewe huyu ni muoga aliogopa kisu you see so i was under pressure na nikakubali After the cut Agnes bled profusely for hours without any help and lucky for her even with all the blood lost she did not pass out But then the problem is everybody's drunk Everybody's happy, everybody celebrating. They don't care what's happening to you. And then wakiambiwa wamebili wanaanza kuulizana, nikina nani walipigana juzi hapa kwa hii nyumba? They think sasa baada ya hao wa mama kupigana, hiyo makelele ndio inafanya eh uh, bleed. So this is a community that is not doing anything because they hate you. Because it is a culture and they has been doing it and they have never associated hiyo kukatwa na any problem kama bleeding kama I, they forget even that there is pain and the pain that one undergoes inakuwa severe pains because there is an, no anastasia done on you ambayo itakuweza kukufanya ubea the pain so you are there and you everybody comes in she talks about you not crying usipigia wazee kelele so unaingia hapo ukiwa na the word i will not cry sitapigia baba yangu kelele so hata hiyo uchungu inaweza kukua because uwezi kuwilia yeah jinya geji yango bini over the years she has come to discover that the practice is done simply because it has been there as part of our cultures and not because it has any benefit to the woman sasa tulipokuja kuanza that is when we now started interacting with the medics and asasa tukaanza kuelewa kabisa where the cut is a clitoris that has its own function in the body asasa tukaanza kuangalia vizuri the effects of female genital mutilation with that new knowledge agnes with a group of women in narrow county decided to start a rescue center to help young girls from this vice as well as keep them in school Na kwa kila nyumba ambayo tuliingia eh, tohara ilijitokeza. Ikawa tohara baada ya tohara hawa wasichana wanaozwa. Sasa hapo ndio tukajua tohara ni shida. Naye maendeleo na wake ikataka pia nao kuanzisha program kama hiyo ya kuelimisha hizi jamii ambayo zinafanya tohara ili wapate kuelewa madhara ya tohara. Sasa hapo ndio tulianza wote kuona kwamba baada ya tohara watoto wetu wanapotea
Agnes attributes their efforts of community outreach, along with the law that stands against the vice, to the reducing number of FGM practices. So when we started, we used to have a large group of girls running to us. But this time, they come one by one because everybody is aware. And again, the law that is there, that's the Children's Act, and that is the law in the new constitution. Hata hizo sinasaidia yote. Kila mtu kuogopa, taking a girl through FGM. She has managed to help over 5,000 girls escape the cut since she started the Tasaru Girls Rescue Center. After rescuing these girls, some of them, like you hear me asking questions to these girls, some of them are confused. And especially if it was a decision that was not from her, maybe somebody pushed her to be rescued. Sasa, she's not sure whether she made the right decision or not. So I take my time joking with them and talking to them. Uh, when the girls are there and so many, we don't see any problem because there are other girls who can tell their own stories to the other girls. And then these girls heal. And then they cope with the life here. And then they mingle with the other girls. When a girl wishes to go back home, Agnes provides for a reconciliation ceremony for the girl and her family. In addition, they constantly monitor the girls to ensure that they are safe and in school. I just arrange with the chief of the area, with the leaders of the area, that I want to take this girl home. And with all the respect, I will do what it takes to be done. Because in our culture, a woman takes a blanket, at times she gives a sheep to the husband or to the father, and then she's accepted back. And when we take these girls there, sometimes we have a, a document that we sign that they cannot take this girl through FGM again. And then after staying with this girl for long here, when she's living here, she will have her conduct, and she will know how to get her way to where we are when anything is about to happen to her. Unfortunately, because some people don't consider FGM as a priority, Tasaru has not received any support from the community. Mm, well, when we started, there were so many problems because uh, the parents by then didn't know that there was a law that protects these girls. So a parent who could not understand why you are taking the girl away or why the daughter is not there. And especially when the girl is about to be married, where this uh, her man will be richer than yesterday, then you are here denying him the riches that he was expecting. Then, of course, it's not going to be easy. There are so many uh, problems that are coming up in the community. So I think there is need to have um, a, a rescue center in every county. Yeah.